everyone, my name is Mary and welcome back to Quinn Inc. I have right in front of me the Dragonfly cardigan and as you can see I just finished the sleeve. I'm so excited to show you this. So this is what we're going to be doing in this week's video. We're going to be doing the sleeve on the Dragonfly cardigan and I'd also like to show you that I actually finished the other side of the card again. Now one more thing I would like to point out, if you saw the last video, um, I ended up backing up three stitches right here. Um, I felt that was big enough for my neck and also for the border. Um, if you want to know how many stitches you need, I ended up counting from where the three single crochets are, I started with this first single crochet right here and counted 19 stitches. And once I got to 19 stitches right here, I stopped crocheting. Okay? So if you saw that last video, that is what I ended up doing. Plus, before we get started, I would also like to thank every single one of my subscribers for subscribing to my channel and liking all of my videos. If you haven't already, go down and hit that like button if you're liking the video, and also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. So let's get started on this sleeve. Let's grab our 5.5 millimeter hook, and let's grab our yarn. I'll be right back in just one moment. Okay, so I'm back, and I grabbed my yarn. Now you can start in any one of the stitches on your sleeve. I'm going to start right here at the very top and I'm just going to join my yarn and the join method I'm going to do is a tie on so I'm just going to tie this right into the stitch and we're going to start pull up a loop and chain one let me make sure I have enough yarn here Okay, and the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a double crochet into this first stitch. So I'm going to wrap my yarn around my hook. I'm going to go into the stitch and pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. You're going to grab your working yarn, pull through two, and pull through two. And all I'm going to do is double crochet into every single stitch just like this and I will meet you when we get down here at the bottom because I have a special way of joining these together. Okay, so double crochet until you get to the bottom of your sleeve right here because we're at the very top as you can see. You can always tell because you have your dragonfly right there. So I will meet you down there in just a few minutes. Alrighty, so I'm back and I have two stitches before we get to this piece right here. So I'm just going to double crochet into these last two stitches right here. Okay, so if you turn your cardigan, you're going to be working on the side. And as you can see, this is where you have the front and the back, and then you single crocheted if you did that. And I am going to, excuse me, my hook keeps getting caught on the sleeve. So you have this piece right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the piece like this and it becomes a stitch. I'm going to yarn over, go into both of those, grab my working yarn and pull through and finish off with a double, excuse me, a double crochet. And then I'm going to turn my cardigan and I'm going to work right into this next stitch. This one right here is the stitch from the single crochet. So we're going to work right into this single crochet. And what I mean by this single crochet right here, this is the stitch from when you 
um, single crocheted both the front and the back together. So you do not want to go into this one because you already did, as you can see. So I'll try that again. I'll pull it out. And so you'll have this single crochet stitch and this one. You'll just put the two together. Yarn over, go into this one and this one, pull through both, grab your working yarn and finish off with a double crochet. And then I'm just going to double crochet to the top and I'll show you what to do once I get to the top. Okay. Alrighty, so I'm back and I made it two stitches before the end. Okay. So for this one, it's going to be a little different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crochet the last two stitches right here. One and two. Okay, now we're at this section right here. This one's a little different because it's a little wider, so I'm going to go right into this stitch right here. I'm going to yarn over, go into this stitch, and then I'm going to go into this stitch as well. And I'm going to pull up a loop like this and I'm going to finish off with a double crochet. Now on your cardigan, if you're following along with me, it's the, the um, spacings are, might be a little different. So just try and see where you can find a spacing to go into. We're gonna pull out the hook and this is how your sleeve should look so far. Now the next section that we're going to be working on is going to be these little clusters, they're upside down, sorry, excuse me, these little clusters. And this is called the granny stripe. And I thought that looked really interesting. In the middle is going to be your double crochets. And this is where we're going to do decreases. Um, the granny stripe row will not have any decreases. I made this pretty easy. Um, you can do this pattern if you would like, or you can keep double crocheting, and then when you feel you get to a certain point where it needs to be decreased, you can decrease it. This one I thought made the cardigan look really magnificent. Okay, so let's get started on that real quick. Whoop, almost lost it. <laughs> okay, so to start the granny stripe, Sorry, I had just my watch. You're going to chain one and into this double crochet right here, you're going to put three double crochets to make a cluster. So one back into that stitch for two and back into that stitch for number three. Okay. You're going to skip two stitches and into the third one right here, you're going to put three double crochets. Now we're not going to do any chaining in between here. You're just going to take this stitch right into this stitch right here. We're going to do three double crochets. Now I'd like to point out one thing. I'd like to point out one thing while you're doing this. You may have more stitches than I will on, on my sleeve, or you may have less stitches. So when you get to the end right here, you may have three extra stitches left over or four. I'm going to show you how to remedy that once we get to that point. So you have three double crochets, skip two stitches, and into the third one, you're going to do three double crochets. You're going to do this until you get back to the beginning of the row. So we are working in the rounds, is what this is called, working in the rounds. So you'll just go around and around and around until you get the length of the sleeve that you want. 
Um, this is row number two for the sleeve. I am going to work this granny stripe until I get back to the beginning right here and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, I'm back and I almost made it all the way around. So I'm going to skip two and into the third one. One, two, and into the third one I'm going to place three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now I'm almost at the end and I have two more stitches and then I have a third one. Normally what's going to happen when we decrease or when you get to the decrease row you are going to either have three leftover stitches or four leftover stitches. When that happens instead of putting three double crochets you'll either put four or five so you can get over those three to four stitches. And the very last thing we're going to do is there is a stitch right here from the previous double crochet. You can put right, go right into that stitch Grab your working yarn, pull up a loop, and pull right through for a slip stitch. Okay, and that was round one of the granny stripe. I am going to do six rounds of this granny stripe. So to start the next granny stripe row, you're going to chain one and right into this space right here you're just going to put three double crochets just like this. All you're going to do is wrap your yarn, go into the actual space, up, grab the yarn and pull through, finishing off with a double crochet and one more. Okay, that is how you do the first cluster. Now, to do the next clusters, you see these spaces? This is all we're going to do. We're going to go right over and into the spaces, and we're going to put three double crochets. And this is how you work the granny stripe, is going into each and every single space. just like this. Okay, so now you know how to do the granny stripe. You'll do that for the rest of the rows. So I showed you how to do row, uh, row one of the granny stripe and row two of the granny stripe. I am going to do six of these, including this very first one, okay? And the way to count the granny stripes, I'm going to show you very quickly. So when you're counting the granny stripes, you're going to count the clusters right here. So this will be row one, two, three, four, and five. It looks like on, oops, I missed one. So there was six on this one. But that is how you count the granny stripes. So I am going to finish the six granny stripe rows and when I'm done I'm going to come back and we're going to do a double crochet decrease row and I'll show you how to do that. Okay so I'll be right back and when I'm done I'm going to show you what to do next. Okay everyone I am back and I did the six rows of the granny stripe as you can see I'm on my sixth row and I have three double crochets to make into this very last space. Push that back so you can see it. Okay, and one final note that I would like to say, um, I think I forgot to mention this, we are actually crocheting on the inside of the sleeve instead of on the outside of the sleeve. And what I mean by that is when you are crocheting your sleeve, you can crochet on the inside or you can turn your sleeve and you can crochet this way on the outside as you're going around, okay?
Okay, so when crocheting on the inside, your stitches on the first three double crochets right here are going to fold inwards towards you. So your first stitch is going to be right here and that's where you're going to put your crochet hook into and you're going to do a slip stitch just like that. Okay, and then the next row we're going to do is going to be the decrease uh, double crochet row. So in order to do that you're going to chain one, you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook, go back into that stitch, grab your working yarn and pull up a loop. You're going to grab your working yarn and pull through only two of those stitches. Okay, and then you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook, go into the next stitch, grab your working yarn, pull up a loop, grab your working yarn, pull through two. Now you have three loops on your hook, grab your working yarn and pull through all three for a decrease. It's called a double crochet two together is what that's called or um, DC t number two TOG which is together. Okay now I did two decreases on this. So then the next thing you're going to do is double crochet into every single stitch. That means when you get to this spacing right here you will not double crochet into it, you'll double crochet into the stitch right here. Okay, so you will always have three double crochets on top of three double crochets. Just like this, okay? Now I did 19 double crochets, so this was the first one I counted. I did not count the decrease. So you're going to do 19 of these double crochets, and when you've done 19, I will come back and show you how to do this decrease again. Okay, so I'm back, and I'm on my 18th stitch. And one thing I would like to mention is, is you're going to double crochet across your cluster just like this on your 19th stitch, okay? So then that way when you get to your second cluster right here to do the d double crochet two together, you're gonna do two of these double crochets and this one will just be one double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over, go into this stitch, pull up a loop. Remember you only go through two of those stitches so you have two loops on your hook yarn over, go into the second stitch, not this one, this one, pull up a loop, go through two loops, three loops on your hook, and you're going to pull through all three for a double crochet, two together. Now all you're going to do is you're going to double crochet back to the beginning because remember we're working in the rounds, and all you're going to do is double crochet into every stitch. And this is what separates the granny stripe from the rest of the rows. And it looks really beautiful. And I am going to double crochet all the way around until I get to the beginning right here. And I'll meet you back here and then I'll show you how to do the granny stripe again. Okay, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back and I have one more stitch before the end. So we're going to double crochet right into that. This technically goes to this stitch right here. Um, it's kind of like your fake stitch. So then you're just going to slip stitch right into the uh, decrease that we did at the very beginning. Okay, And that is how you do the decrease row for row number seven. Okay, And now we're going to be working on row number eight. So we're going to chain one, double crochet three times into that stitch, you're going to skip two stitches and double crochet into the third stitch.
and there we go. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. And you're going to do this again, just like you did in this round right here, where you did six of them. This time for this row, we're going to do seven. Now I decreased here, and I did it twice, so that way it'll start to shrink without you really noticing it. Now, depending on your sleeve, whether you made it bigger or smaller than mine, um, it depends on how many of these rows you're going to want to do. You don't have to do the same amount as I'm doing. You can also shorten them to where you can do three rows and then a double crochet row and decrease more times as you need to for your arm. So you can make it tighter or you can keep it loose. I'm going to keep mine a little bit loose. I don't like tight sleeves. So that's what I'm doing for this one. So. I am going to do seven of these granny stripe rows and when I reach row number seven I will come back and show you on row number eight again how to do the decrease. One more thing since we decreased you may have four stitches left over before you get to the end and what you're going to do is I what I ended up doing was putting four double crochets into this instead of three so I could go over the length of it and it wouldn't look so bunched up like this. Um, I am going to do this row of granny stripe and when I'm done I'll come back and show you. I decided to come back on camera and talk about the sleeve really quickly. So this first row is just regular double crochet in the middle where the granny stripe is, is six. This double crochet row right here is going to be your decrease. I did two rows of granny stripe, seven rows each. So this one and this one here. And in the middle I did a decrease per each. On the very end I did a decrease row right here I did three rows of the granny stripe and on the very end I did a decrease row of half double crochet and then two more rows of just regular half double crochet. So if you're wondering how I did this sleeve, that is what I did. I did 40 rows. Um, what I would suggest doing is constantly trying on your sleeve to see exactly where you want it to stop and how long you want your sleeve. Another thing I also suggest too is you can make this a short sleeve as well so you can stop right here at this row and make it kind of like a short sleeve or if you want it a tad longer you can stop right here at this row. You can stop at any of the rows that you would like to make them shorter or if you would like you can actually keep adding more and making it much longer. So those are some suggestions. I'm going to get back to doing the granny stripe row and I have seven of these to do. When I'm done I will come back and show you what to do next. Okay I'm back and I finished the first row of the granny stripe and as you can see here, I have three stitches left instead of the two. Now you may have four of these because we decrease twice. This actually will be an extra stitch more um, each time you do the decrease is what I've noticed. So in this situation where I just did the three double crochets right here, I'm actually going to do one extra double crochet you may have four stitches left over, maybe five. What I would do is I would add an extra to two extra double crochets in here. What that allows you to do is to get over to this double crochet and slip stitch right into it. Whoops, let me try that again. Slip stitch right into it, just like that. And as you can see, it's not really noticeable. 
So no one is going to notice if you've added an extra couple of stitches to your cluster of double crochets, okay? So I am going to finish. I have six more granny stripes to go. When I'm done, I will meet you back on the double crochet row and I will show you again how to do the decrease. Okay, I will see you shortly. I'm back everybody and I actually finished all seven rows of the granny stripe and I'm going to finish it off right here with a slip stitch and we're going to do the double crochet decrease row again so you're going to chain one go back into this first stitch yarn over go into the stitch pull up three loops yarn over and only go through two that makes a half double crochet I'm going to go into the second stitch and do the same thing now you have three loops and then you're going to pull through all three for a double crochet two together and the next thing you're going to do is you are going to double crochet 19 this does not count as the first stitch this one right here counts as your first stitch so I am going to double crochet 19 of these show you how to do the decrease and then tell you what to do next alright I'll see you in just a moment okay so I reached 18 I'm on my 19th and this will finish off the cluster and then when you do the next cluster you're going to do the decrease so yarn over go into the stitch pull up a loop grab your working yarn pull through two yarn over go into the second stitch pull up a loop grab your working yarn and pull through two you have three loops pull through all three for a decrease and then you're just going to double crochet all the way around until you get to the beginning so I'm going to stop there for just a moment and I'm going to let you know so your next section you're going to do seven of these and then we're going to come back and we are going to do another decrease so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off my double crochet decrease row I'm going to move on to these seven and when I'm done I'm going to show you what to do next because according to the sleeve over here, this last seven, this is a decrease row, and then we do three more granny stripes. Okay, so I will see you back when I am on the decrease double crochet row. Okay, see you in a little bit. Okay, everyone, I'm back, and I finished the seven granny stripe rows, and I'm on the very last one, and all I need to do is put a slip stitch right into this stitch okay and if you're wondering what row we're on this is actually going to end row 23 we're going to be working on row 24 and again we're going to do the double crochet two together okay I think by now you guys kind of have the idea of how to do this Okay, just like that. We're now going to do 19 stitches. So remember, you don't count the decrease, you count the, uh, the actual double crochet stitch. So this will be one, and then of course, you'll have two and three. Okay, and you'll do 19 of these. And when you get to 19, we'll do another decrease. I'll see you in just a few minutes. Okay, and this one is going to be 19. And then you're going to do a decrease right here. So yarn over, go into the stitch, grab your working yarn, pull up a loop, go through two, two loops on your hook yarn over go back into that stitch grab your working yarn pull up a loop 
grab your working yarn, pull through two, grab your working yarn and pull through all three and that is a decrease. And now all I'm going to do is double crochet to the very end. And what I would like to point out is now that we did row 24, which is going to be this decrease row right here, you're going to do 25, 26, and this is going to be 27 of your granny stripe rows. So you can't see it very well, it's all in white, but you're going to do three rows of the granny stripe. When you have made all three rows of the granny stripe, I will meet you back for row 28 and that will also be a decrease row but this time we're going to do it in half double crochet so I will see you in just a few moments okay so I did my three granny stripes and this is going to be row 27 that I'm ending on so you're just going to slip stitch right into this stitch and then we're going to start row 28. This is going to be the half double crochet row. And to start off we're going to do a half double crochet two together. So chain one, yarn over, whoops, go back into this st stitch right here, grab your working yarn and pull up a loop. This is going to be the half double crochet two together. Now if you've never done a half double crochet before, you normally have three loops on your hook. You'll grab your working yarn and pull through all three for a half double crochet. For a half double crochet two together, you will not be doing that. You'll yarn over again, go into the second stitch, pull up a loop. You will now have five loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and you're going to go through all five of those hooks for a half double crochet two together. Now we're just going to half double crochet into every single double crochet from the previous row. And you're going to half double crochet 15 before we get to the next stitch where we're going to do a half double crochet two together. So remember you're going to count this one as your first stitch, second, this one is going to be number three, four, whoops, five, fourteen, and 15. Okay, so that's 15 half double crochets. We're now going to do a half double crochet two together. So wrap your yarn around your hook, go into the first stitch, grab your working yarn and pull up a loop. Wrap your yarn around your hook, go into the next stitch, Grab your working yarn and pull up a loop. Five loops on your hook. Grab your working yarn and pull through all five of them. And then all we're going to do is half double crochet back to the very beginning of the first stitch because remember we're working in the rounds. So you're going to half double crochet all the way to the very beginning of this stitch and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I made it all the way around and I have two stitches left before the end. So I'm just going to half double crochet into those two stitches. One and two. And always remember this is the first stitch from when you did the half double crochet two together. That will also happen for every double crochet row before this one. And then you're just going to go into the stitch, grab your working yarn, pull through, and pull through. Now this row was row 28, 
For rows 29 and row 30, all you're going to do is chain one and half double crochet into every stitch around. And that is how you finish off the sleeve. So when I finish my 29th row and my 30th row, I will come back on camera and I'll show off the sleeve. Okay everyone, I did my two rows. I did row 29 and row 30 and I'm almost done with row 30. I have two more stitches to go. One, oops, sorry, two, and remember this is the fake stitch. So you're just going to slip stitch right into here and you're done. And there we go. The sleeve is done, completed. Now, you are going to have to do two of these, so you're going to have to do the other side. My two sleeves are already done. I had to do this one last night, so I knew how I wanted this sleeve to look. And so if we pull out the cardigan, um, sorry, it's twisted. That's what happens when you're crocheting your sleeves. Um, Excuse me, your cardigan gets very twisted. So remember, as you're crocheting your sleeves, make sure to constantly always untwist them. So I'm gonna pull the camera up so you can see that both sleeves have been finished. Here is the first sleeve, and this one is the second sleeve attached. You can make them as long as you would like. You can do more decreases, less decreases. Um, you can do whatever you like with your sleeves, but that's what they look like. They're both finished. The next portion of the video is going to be part number four. And in part number four, we are going to do the border on the cardigan. We're going to do the bottom border down here, and we're going to do the side border. I'm going to do this um, border as a collar for you. So I'm going to show you how to do the collar portion, which is going to be the, this big piece up here where your neck is. That'll be a collar. And then this is also going to be a border. Um, I'm going to make it all in one piece and go all the way around the cardigan. I'm also going to show you how to do a hood in part number four. I believe it's part number four. If it's not, then I'm really sorry and I didn't mean to uh, mislead you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a like and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.